Somebody say something about fired up right here in Philadelphia outside. Uh, here doing an autograph signing for Turnbuckle Promotions. Uh, you know, some things never change. Good friend of mine still alone. One wrestling. Dot com. Thank you, Bill. You know me, I can't remember a whole lot. But, uh, Update everybody what you're doing these days. Well, I'm doing a lot of things with Turnbuckle Promotions, uh, still doing some independence. Uh, hey, it's just good that folks still remember Tommy Wildfire Rich. And like I said, you know, traveling around, doing autograph sessions. Uh, they're having a big one right here in Philly right now. they got the Steiners here, Goldberg. I mean, it's a big turnout. Sabu, uh, you know, the list goes on. Rocky Johnson's here. I mean, Turnbuckle Promotions, they turn it out. And uh, OneWrestling.com, you know, tune in, and they'll let you know what's happening. Hey, tell me, a couple of the, uh, uh, now we're sharing a microphone here, which is why the video might be a little jerky. That's all right. No, so am I. We, a couple of questions here. You were NWA World Heavyweight Champion, and then after a while, a couple of years later, you disappeared. We used to get a lot of mail wanting to know what happened to Tommy Rich. Where did you go during all those few years you weren't around? Somebody say something about, you know, I just disappeared for a while. Went back home to Tennessee. Uh, it was just time for a break. Uh, you know, a lot of things. I, at the time, I was a little young when I won 1981, beat Harley Ray for the World Heavyweight Championship, and it might have been a little bit more than Tommy Rich could handle. So, uh, anyway, at the time, I just uh, took some time off and went home visited with the family. What about, a lot of fans also always say, Tommy Rich was one of the best, and you were. What, why didn't you ever go to WWF back then? Uh, there again, I'm just an old homeboy. I had a couple of chances to go on at the last minute. I backed out. Um, you know, but some things never change. I don't know. I, I love the old school wrestling, and it's night and day difference now. So, uh, being the old rebel I was, I, you know, I just, I'm glad there's folks like Turnbuckle Promotions, the indie circuit, and, uh, you know, I'm just proud to be a part of all that now. Okay, we, we always talk about great matches. If there's, beside the Harley race match where you won the World Heavyweight Championship, what was one of the other highlights of your career that you remember to this day? God, uh, Abdullah the Butcher at the Omni Thanksgiving night, folks jumping off the rafters. Uh, longest feud I ever had with anybody, probably the longest feud anybody ever had with Buzz Soldier. God bless him, salute him, he's gone now. Uh, a lot of the soldiers are gone now, you know, and, and I miss them all. And uh, That was real hardcore wrestling, you and Buzz Sawyer. Yes, sir. Back during the day, that was old school. And uh, say what you want, but Buzz, I mean, he took it to you and I took it to him. And that's why the feud lasted as long as it did. What, what's different about the business today? It's sports entertainment. Yeah, yeah and, and is it, do you follow it? Uh, no, I, I, like I say, I, I enjoy the indie, uh, indie circuit and uh, doing the appearances, like I say, for Turnbuckle Promotions, uh, you know, and, and all the old school fans come out. I mean, they've got a great turnout here for this for this today. Uh, you showed up, Bill. I mean, uh, you know, and this Jason, I mean, he's putting on a good thing. Uh, hey, and I'm just glad to be a part of all of it. All right, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you.